Business Simulator is supported by the following sponsors. Yo, this 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 beat just just speaks to me, bro. It's so welcoming. But this is an oddly peaceful beat for a game about killing and simping, bro. Like, look, look, look. Hello, hello, hey, hey. We're gonna check out the 1980s mode today. Now y'all said um, this mode is for one, easier, two, actually complete, and um, three, it's like a lot more rivals on here. If I'm not mistaken, I believe there's like 10 of them. So we already know the daughter is freaking crazy. I'm trying to see how crazy the mom's is, bro. She probably learned it from somewhere, right? Golly, bro. Look at the whole aesthetic right here, dude. Hey. Let me see. New game! Empty file! I've been waiting a while! Every night, like, oh, shoot. For as long as I can remember, I have been having the same dream. This is fascinating. Oh, I gotta press E. In okay. this dream, I meet a boy, fall in love with him, start a family, and live happily ever after. But then you wake up. <laughs> I've always believed that this dream was showing me my future. Showing me the person I'll be with for the rest of my life. Aww. I spent years fantasizing about what it would be like to finally meet him. And then, one year ago, I found him. Oh, that is so creepy, bro. Look how she's staring at him. What are y'all doing if you look behind you and see a girl just looking at you like that? The boy from my dreams is in the same school as me. But I'm too afraid to speak to him. Because I'm worried that I'll ruin everything. Lame. And make him hate me. So, for the past year, I've been admiring him from afar. A year? Well, I built up enough courage to speak to him. 365 days? It took you that long? Let's pull out the calculator real quick, right? 365 days. There's 24 hours in one day, right? So let's say 365 times 24. That's 8,760 hours, bro. She put in nearly 10,000 hours before saying hi. No wonder she's crazy. How can you How can you take a no after nearly 10,000 hours? He's my soulmate. My destiny. But while we're at school... He's just my senpai. Okay. I was having so much fun watching him, learning everything about him, and planning our life together. Oddly enough, the mom seems less crazy than, than the daughter, but judging by the principal's reaction, <gasps> the headmaster? It's, it's you. You must be. Not another step. Oh my god! Wise decision. <laughs> at once. The mom's gotta be far worse. But then. Someone Ooh. had to come and ruin everything. Ooh. She's trying to take him from me. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. He look like he got W Riz for real, bro. And I won't let her get away with it. Shonix told me that in this game, it hints to who you're supposed to kill for the canon um, endings, right? WSD to move. Okay. Press T to spawn a trail leading to your destination. Yeah, yeah, follow the trail with T. Is this a tutorial? This is definitely a tutorial. Oh, shoot. I'm in a hard to pick up knife. Ooh. Following a new trail. Golly, what girl do y'all think we're going to kill right now, bro? It's like 10 whole rivals, bro. Oh, we got to hide in the bathroom. Okay, we got to get in this stall. What now? Oh my god. Oh. Who would want to talk with me in a place like this? Approach the girl. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I giggled on accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! oh Ryoba-chan. Oh my are, god. Are you the person who left that note in my locker? What did you want to talk to me about? I need to tell you something about the boy you have feelings for. Oh. Uh, you know have a crush on? Oh, it's so embarrassing. 
That's how it used to be when we was younger, though, bro. Used to get roasted for liking someone back in the day. I remember back in middle school, bro, it's like, it, if anybody had a suspicion of you liking somebody, they tried to make it as awkward as possible, bro. They used to be like, John and Sally sitting in the tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Like, bro, like, what? Like, why are you over here ruining my riz, bro? Can you get back? That used to piss me off. I ain't gonna lie. Like, people was just mad immature back then, bro. <laughs> oh, shoot. Ooh. And I, ooh. You can't have him. He belongs to me. Oof. Oh my god. How did you die with your legs in that position? Oh my god. Okay, okay. Locate a box of garbage bags in the bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right. Let's conceal her in that. Yo! How is our body folding in that shape? Oh, yeah, yeah. We already know about this. We're going to fill it up with some water and everything. Hurry up, my boy. We're going to put some bleach in that joint. Pour it. Y'all know the deal. Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep. Approach the corpse. Pick it up with R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta get all this blood off us. What are we gonna do? Clean up with toilet water? How is nobody gonna witness what I just did to this poor girl, bro? Nobody's out in the school. Everybody's in class. The whole environment is dark, bro. Like, this is the most sinister stuff I've ever seen. Like, a lot of moms is weird for real, bro. Oh. Oh, not the incinerator. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, man. Hold the R key to dump the weapon in the incinerator. So now we got to clean this blood off us, right? So now we can't get caught red-handed. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, the mom seems surprisingly more evil. Look how she's twitching. She is insane, bro. I take back what I said about the daughter being worse. All right, now we clean all this off of us. W shower. Oh, that's one uniform now. <laughs> oh, freak. Now, did, did, did y'all... Hey, Ryoba-chan, I saw you take a knife out of the cooking club. Oh. Why did you do that? Oh, shoot. Uh, to apologize. Oh, that knife actually belonged in the home ec room. I was just putting it back where it belonged. Oh, my God. Makes perfect sense, I guess. Jeez. I think we just got to get out of here, bro. We did a whole lot today, and it, none of it was good. Yo, why is there, like, gym uniform booty shorts, bro? Like, who designed this? After I disposed of the girl who was trying to steal my senpai. Oh, my God. I cleaned up all the evidence. She's saying it so casually, like you didn't just destroy someone's life, bro. I left no trace of what I had done. Or so I thought. When Ooh. the police investigated the girl's disappearance, they found a single blood stain that I failed to clean up. Yeah. This was enough to make the police begin investigating the girl's disappearance as a possible murder case. Jeez. A potential murder at an elite school was big news. It was a stain on the school's prestigious reputation. The headmaster didn't take it very well. Mm. I heard that he struck a deal with the police to keep any future investigations as discreet as possible. The faculty and the student council will be on high alert from now on. I'll need to be more careful in the future, but I yeah. can't rest yet. Another threat has appeared. Another one? She plans to confess her feelings to my senpai at 6 p.m. on Friday. I need to stop her before then. Hey, you know what time it is. But, 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 we are trying to be more discreet, so I don't think that's the move. Anyway, we will kill her, though. If I kill every girl who shows an interest in my senpai, I might attract more police attention to the school. Yeah. So, even though I'm tempted to plunge a knife into her heart, Ugh. perhaps I should consider avoiding bloodshed. Diabolical. I should eavesdrop on their conversations. I might be able to learn some valuable information. In fact, with a little bit of sabotage, I might be able to ruin their budding relationship and make my senpai lose all interest in her. 
Hmm. So we're trying to ruin her reputation instead of just killing her this time. <laughs> okay. And I like the way you're thinking. Oh, shoot. I forgot to move my camera. Oh, my gosh. I forgot to... <laughs> Wow, dude, that's that's kind of that's kind of trash. Y'all hear this beat? <laughs> hey, okay, y'all. Wait, six thirty a.m. Monday, week one, 1980. All these girls flirting with senpai. Y'all can't have his baby. Dang, huh? Yeah, murder case <laughs> just got erased. <laughs> Like TK, I did the race. I'm gone. You're done. <laughs> Pulled out the knife. Hmm. Huh? You can't be his wife. Huh? Wait. I get the trash bag. Hmm. Incinerate the bag. Ooh. I always get to my bag. Huh? I incinerate the bag. Huh? I'm never going outside. Me and Senpai gonna be together, freaking glad. Ooh. Okay. Huh? Shh. Don't say I'm bad. Uh. Yeah. You might get yourself stabbed. All right, so let's get the lay of the room. We have the exit right here. We have the TV. Um, <clears throat> we can't really interact with much here. We can skip school and go to bed. Aerobics dancing. I don't like the aesthetic of this room in this game right now. We have a, a senpai shrine and uh, a whole closet dedicated to panties. Isn't that something? Senpai shrine. Oh my god. Oh my god. You, yo, on the, what? A crown jewel of my collection, the most holy possession, sent by sacred undergarments. This man's draws was just missing one day and he didn't know what happened. He was just free balling, bro. That is insane to me. And not even clean, bro. Look at that little speck right there. Oh my God. Homie didn't shake when he got done peeing, bro. All right, all right, all right. So let's, let's just read all this, all right? We have a uh, uh, old can. This is a can that Senpai drank out of. He crushed it with his powerful, manly hands. <laughs> okay, this is a bento that Senpai ate out of. I hope we share a bento together someday. An apple that Senpai was eating, licking the teeth marks, is so much fun. Yuck! Yuck, she's nasty! This is a lock of Senpai's hair. It's soft and fluffy. Uh, this is a button from Senpai's uniform. It's a, uh, an omen that we'll uh, be together forever. His toothbrush? Brushing teeth with this is a wonderful feeling? No way. No, nah, that's that's cringe, bro. That got me itching, bro. Why you take this man toothbrush? And how did you even get it? Like, who just takes their toothbrush to school? She was stalking him all the way home. This is his pencil. Senpai was chewing on him. I'm so jealous. <laughs> hey, be real, bro. Y'all used to chew on pencils in school? I low-key used to, bro. Chewing gum that he spat out of his warm, moist mouth. Moist is such a terrible word. This is a bandage that Senpai threw away. Some of his delicious blood is still on it. No! I don't know, bro. This this is nasty. I'm, I'm getting out this room. It's just, it's weird vibes in here. I can't deal with it. Okay, Monday week one before class. Looks like we have somewhat of a similar setup um, as before. So I can stalk them behind this bush. Oh, it's no voice acting. Okay, wait, wait. Um, oh, 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 dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Let me start over. All right, lock in, lock in, lock in. It's a spying. Uh. Hey, senpai, got a second? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, babe? <laughs> I made a bento for my sister this morning, but she left the house without it. I don't want it to go to waste. Would you like to have it? Okay. Oh, sure. I'd be happy to. <laughs> Great. Here it is. I hope you enjoy it. She's smiling in the background. Yuck. Thanks. I'll keep it on my desk for now and eat it at lunchtime. Okay. At 5.15 p.m., let's meet up back here so you can tell me how it tasted. All right. Sounds like a plan, baby. Yay. I'm looking forward to it. Off rip, she's way uh, better at talking to dudes than um, what's what's her name? Freaking Osana. But what's up with it's you? you? It's you trying to intimidate me. Absolutely. What is this about? <laughs> don't waste your time. You don't scare me. I ain't gonna lie. I see exactly what this is. That's a detective investigating the murder cases, bro. Oh, okay. That's the other gym teacher. 
Dang, this one from the 1980s is kind of bad too, bro. Okay, okay. Is there some sort of menu? There is the ideas. Uh, attack, befriend, betray, bully, burn. Yeah, yeah, okay. And I think she wants to be more discreet this time than, you know, like, uh, murdering somebody and leaving a blood stain as evidence. Like, <laughs> what an amateur, right? So I say, let's explore this framing option. This is like a whole different vibe than the regular thing, bro. Let me get my devious voice ready. Mm, I could get a girl framed for murder. <laughs> I would need to get the girl's fingerprints on the weapon, commit murder with that weapon, without getting my own fingerprints on it, and then make sure that that weapon is discovered by the police. I could drop an object like a screwdriver on the ground so that my rival sees it and picks it up, to return it where it belongs, which would result in her fingerprints getting onto the screwdriver. Alternatively, I would need to join the drama club to get a pair of gloves and wear them. Then I would need to find a box cutter and a roll of duct tape in the art room. After that, I would need to find a cardboard box in the incinerator area and tape it shut with duct tape. Then I would need to stick the box cutter into the box. At that point, I would need to ask the girl to remove the box cutter from the box for me. Then while still wearing the gloves, I would need to commit murder with that box cutter and drop the weapon somewhere. Finally, it would be a simple matter of disposing of my bloody clothing and waiting for the st bloody stained weapon to be discovered. When the police arrive at school, they should arrest the girl. Sheesh. Okay, so with this plan, I feel like it would be good because, you know, the police might feel like they found the murderer. But that plan involves killing somebody. She doesn't really want to do that. So looking at this list, I feel like I could try to get Senpai to reject her, maybe. Hmm, maybe we could. What's up with this befriend method? If I learn what my rival's biggest problem is, I could solve her problem and put her into my debt. Then I could tell her to stay away from Senpai. That's a decent plan. Uh, to do this, I would need to follow the girl until she puts her book bag in her classroom, then rummage around her book bag for her diary and read about her personal problems. All right, let's start with that. We got to pay attention to where she goes to class at. All right, so where is she at? She's, oh my God. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right, let's speed up this time. That's where the rival is. That's where the detective is. Oh my God, can you Can stop I walking into me? Help? You're making her heart skip like 50 beats, bro. That's not healthy. All right, that's her classroom. Oh, is she about to set her book bag down? She's setting her book bag down? Oh, shoot. Y'all, we have a finesse. We definitely have a finesse. Oh my God, okay. Bet, 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 bet. Y'all, I think I chose the right move. Let's go. I wish I could lock the door. Open rival's bag, mental contraband, books. Books? Uh, read diary. You find the diary in your rival's book bag. By reading your rival's diary, you will be able to learn her likes and dislikes, embarrassing secrets that will allow you to spread gossip about her and personal problems that you can discuss with her by leaving her a note in her locker. Look inside diary, press E. Let's get it. Okay, my best friend asked, oh wow, this is so like, interactive bro let me take a picture of this I, last night i had a nightmare that everyone on academia learned my most embarrassing secret when i was a little girl i accidentally killed my best friend's pet by feeding it something it couldn't digest she forgave me but i still hate myself for it oh that's sad bro and she drew a little bunny you killed a bunny you're a monster i can't sleep at night i keep worrying about that evil photographer that evil photographer bento still bento is crazy bro the contraband we can we can put drugs in her bag? Wow. All right, let's get out of here, bro. I'm finna just casually sit at this table. <laughs> Yo, that looks like the most devious sitting I've ever seen. That's the first step down. Then I would need to do a task for her to befriend her, leave a note in her locker to arrange a meeting somewhere private like a rooftop and then tell her about the note. Looks like she's down there in the middle. Uh, a task, yeah. I'm having trouble with one of my assignments for my least favorite school subject. Okay. I hate this stupid assignment so much. At this point, I just want someone else to do it for me. You sound exactly like me in school. If you're willing to complete this assignment for me, please do it where nobody will see you. The table in the library would be the perfect spot. Bet, absolutely. Really? You'll help me? I'll do oh, it for thank you. you. As long as you stay away from Senpai. Dang, can I get one, bro? What is these? You over, oh, they're like little, what the freak is that, bro? 
Whatever it is, it it, it looks kind of mid. I ain't gonna lie. That looks like bread slice, uh, freaking steak and and dreamy bull substance. <laughs> this is basically the same setup as when her daughter is in school. So you know what? This is respectable. Let me just do her assignment real quick. Y'all, we get the job done. Hey, we get the job done. Yes, sir. This is a lot easier than the other game mode. I see that now, bro. All right, where you at, girl? I got your assignment for you. Oh my god, you did it! Now this stupid assignment is finally behind me, once and for all. Thank you. No problem. Task complete. Let's get it, boy! Let me see. I got to find student locker. Uh, Her locker right here. Yeah, find locker right there. Bet, bet, bet. Yo, why is he he's just out there? just lurking like oh my gosh leave a note in her locker to arrange a meeting somewhere private like a rooftop and then tell her about the notes evil photographer please meet me at school rooftop shoot let's just meet at like 7 45 all right let's see what it do bro hopefully i didn't sell by choosing a bad time Yo, someone dropped a note in your locker. No offense, but I'm not sure if I can trust you. 10 reputation. Oh my gosh, here we go with this stuff again. Rep updates after class though. You know what I'm wondering? Maybe the little tasks and stuff are like easier than the main I'm game. I'm trouble with one of my assignments. It's for my least favorite school subject. I hate this stupid assignment so much. At this point, I just want someone else to do it for me. If you're willing to complete this assignment. I just have to do everyone's homework? Really? You'll help me? Bet. Now, I ain't gonna lie, y'all might fail, but I'll do it for you. <laughs> hey, hey, don't blame me, bro. If the answers is wrong, it is what it is. Golly, it's just everybody's just cheating off my papers, huh? Hey, got that homework oh for you. Oh my god, you did it! Now this <laughs> stupid assignment is finally behind me, once and for all. Thank all right. You. You know what? This is actually really bad because I put 745. I don't know if I have time about this, dude. I wish I had some headache pills. Yo, can I get some pills for a headache? Thank you. I don't even know if teachers are allowed to do this, bro. I remember like some kids in my school asking for like um, ibuprofen or something like that. And then they said, we're not allowed to give you that. If you really want your symptoms alleviated, call your mother. <laughs> okay, you know what? If you don't like schoolwork, then that means you enjoy having fun. So do you like jokes? Or really, I feel the same way. See, I told you. Oh, this is just where all the bros is. What, you got that? What are you, a super saiyan god? What do you need, bro? I'm thirsty, dying of thirst over here. Dang, what did I do to you? Why, why you, why you just staring at me, huh? Oh, you got a problem? You got a problem? Don't, don't put your hands on me. Don't, don't. Buy a drink for one dollar. Let me get that. How you doing, my brother? From another mother, let me give you this drink I got over here. Yes, sir. Test complete. You already know I've been playing hide and seek with senpai. Cause when I go up to talk to him, I can't get a word out. I don't know what that's about. That's kind of sad, but I'm feeling kind of glad that that first girl, that's my rival, is dead. Oh, dead. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. We got seven. What is your deal? You're just sitting over here looking weird. Can I do a task? Don't make fun of me for saying this, but I have a crush on a girl. <laughs> okay, this student wants a rose. Find the only rose bush in school and obtain a rose for them. Somewhere nearby the school gym. Oh, you know what? I think I remember where that is. Ah, we found that rose bush already. Yes, sir. Dang, bro, imagine having a rose bush by your school. That's like, that's like literally, it's just setting everyone up for romantic success, bro. Well, not everyone, because some people just don't have any game at all, but hey. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Too close, girly. Misogynistic. <laughs> no way, a rose, you actually found one? Yeah. You know, well, actually, you don't look as weird. You were looking kind of stressed out and awkward before, but you might be able to pull her, bro. So let me talk to you. Can I talk to you for a minute? Love? Whoa, what? What? Love? What? What is that option doing there? You know what? He has on a little thing. He loves cooking. You've got to like cooking, right? Oh, really? I feel the same way. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. So our reputation is 10. 
It's already past the time that we left the note in her locker. We might as well just go to class at this point. If the note fails, we try again another day. It is what it is. Yes, sir. Finna go to class. I'm here first. I did not pull up last. Let me upgrade my physical education. Cause I gotta have the muscle. Cause I gotta hustle. Uh, finna knock all these people out. Maybe if she throws out the first letter, I can give her another one afterwards. Yeah! Look at this detective out here just looking awkward. Like, you... Do you know that you're know scaring you're people? Something. Why are you so suspicious of me? I've got my eye on you. You need to have the eye on your uh, your freaking face when you're using your razor. I don't know what you did to your, <laughs> to your beard, bro. You look like you took a pencil and scribbled on your face. <laughs> that man turned around so fast when I giggled. Freak, where's my rival at? Where is she? That's so disrespectful. Oh, she's up. Oh, shoot. She's eating up there. Freak, let me get up there then. No, no, no. That's that's senpai. Okay, he's just chilling, you know, eating by himself. Where are your friends at? Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, yeah. Somebody dropped something in your locker. Thanks for letting me know, but I'm eating lunch right now. Remind me later. Oh, my God. Oh, I was about to say, like, I just started this time skipping animation. And dude, I thought I seen her pull out a smartphone, but it's just a picture, like a Polaroid picture. I was about to say, like, y'all did not have smartphones back then. <laughs> Freaking old head. Yeah, she's going right back to class. All right, we'll get some more learning done. It's all good. Nice, nice. Now it's cleaning time. Man, I saw someone put a note in your locker. Uh, that's where I guess I'll take a look then. Oh, she's actually looking. Bet, 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 bet. Huh? What's this? Yeah, this one ain't gonna work. Maybe I should meet them. When? Are you actually going up to the rooftop? It's already too late though. I, I said 7.45 a.m. Y'all, it's actually working, y'all. It's, it's actually working. What the freak, bro? Where is she? Where is she? Let, let's talk about it. Offer help. Your diary fell oh. out of your book bag. I picked it up to put it back. Oh. And I accidentally saw what was written on one of the pages. Yup. Excellent liar. Something about an evil photographer it made me worry are you in danger do you need help please tell me what's going on Dang. oh gosh oh wait wait oh gosh i wasn't ready to talk about this with anyone but yeah there's something i need help with my voice doesn't seem high enough bro let me there's an abandoned insane asylum just outside of town it's rumored to be haunted with ghosts my friends dared me to spend a night there as a test of courage Last weekend, I accepted the dare and went to the asylum at night. I started exploring all of the rooms, looking for a good place to sleep, but just when I thought I found the perfect room, suddenly a man with a knife appeared. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> oh, shoot. He shut the door behind him, trapping me in the room with him, and then he told me to take my clothes off. What? That took a terrible turn. I was terrified, so I did what he told me to do. He didn't touch me, but he had a camera with him, and he took a bunch of pictures of me. Oh no, that's sick, bro. He had a he had a big duffel bag with him. At one point, I saw what was inside: a bunch of camera equipment, along with dozens of uh, photographs of other girls. Oh my God, this is what the investigator need to be looking into. He must be camping out in the asylum every night, waiting for girls to show up to do a test of courage. So that he can corner them and take pictures. It wouldn't surprise me if he was the uh, the one who started the rumor about the asylum being haunted just to trick teenage girls into walking into an abandoned building alone. Eventually, I saw an opportunity to escape, so I grabbed my clothes and ran away. I got away. I got away safely, but I can't sleep with, at night knowing that he still has those photos of me. Why don't you call the police? That's so disturbing, bro. I don't want anyone to see those pictures of me, not even the cops. I'd die of embarrassment if those photos were submitted as evidence in a court case. Yeah. I want to go back to that asylum and burn the evil photographer's bag to ashes, but recently, that place became really dangerous. Even more dangerous? It was already bad. A bunch of homeless people and drug addicts are staying there now. I'm afraid of what could happen if I go back there. Hmm. Okay. I'll go to the insane asylum and burn the photographer's pictures for you. All right. Are you sure you could get hurt? That place is really dangerous. 
This is Loki an interesting mission. Don't worry. I'm tougher than I look. <laughs> That's an understatement. If you could burn those photos, I'd be in your debt forever. But I don't want you to put yourself at risk. Trust me. I'll be fine. Give me your phone number so I can call you when the problem is resolved. That's... Okay, but be careful. If anything happens to you, I'll never be able to forgive myself. Yeah, that dude has to pay for this. That is like, I did not expect this to take such a terrible turn, bro. Like, it'd it be some weird stuff happening in Yandere, sim, bro. We met up with her, so once we're at the rooftop, uh, I would need to talk to her and agree to solve the problem for her. There's no telling what kind of problems she might have. I might have to go far away from school to solve it for her. Yeah, that that's true. Once I've solved her problem, I would invite her to my house and convince her to stay away from Senpai. Bet. I might need to gear up for real, bro. Like, I, I need I need some type of knife in my inventory or something. Ritual knife? Yeah, let me let me let me take that, bro. We're gonna get to stabbing if it comes down to it. I ain't gonna lie. Hello, officer. Time to leave for school. Time to leave. I'm not gonna trigger him because I do have a knife in my uh, my freaking skirt, so nah, bro. Ryoba is ready to leave school. However, she can't bring herself to leave before Senpai does. Ryoba waits at the school's entrance until Senpai eventually appears. She follows him and watches him from a distance until he has returned to his home. Then Ryoba returns to her house. Okay, so we have to literally go out to the insane asylum, bro. What is this going to look like? <laughs> They better let me still have my knife, dog. Bags to burn one. Oh my God. This is cool, bro, what? <laughs> Yo. No, I love the way they did this. Okay. Yo, yo, yo. All right, so there's, I'm just sneaking around. There's pebbles. All right, I have like 10 pebbles. Ah, so we can throw them to distract them. We got to move with stealth. Let me get my Yandere vision going. All right, we need him to move, definitely. Oh my God, Itchy? Oh, he, he yeah, he's, he's a crackhead. Bro, it feels like I'm literally trying to... Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so bad. All right, there's one right there. He doesn't see me. All right, he, he just turned around. The bag has got to be upstairs, though. They're literally all crackheads. They're moving like zombies, bro. <laughs> Itchy. Somebody had to have had fun recording these voice lines, bro. Like, oh, <laughs> Itchy. <laughs> this OST is perfect for this, too. Freaking cigarettes. All right, all right, all right. I'm just picking up stuff because I, I seen you can frame girls by putting stuff in their bags too. So we might need that for like a, a future adventure, bro. Walls. Closing in. Bro is, he, he's out of his mind. Where could that bag be at? Way, way, way. I think it's way back there. Yeah, we gotta get past this man. He Walls. almost saw me. Is he coming? He is, he is, he is. Closing in. Come on, I know you heard that, bro. Demons. We did that, we did that, we did that, we did that. All right, there's one in here. Okay. No, 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 he turned around, he turned around, he turned around. Freak, 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 freak. That's the photographer. <laughs> Who'd have known it'd be so easy? Yeah, you're Just sick. Start a rumor and they flock straight to you. You're literally sick, bro. I hope you go bald. Stupid girls. Oh, so gullible. Who's really stupid now? Exit the building from the window you came from, bet. What if he notices the bag? Do you not see that it's on fire? Huh? <laughs> what the hell? How did this happen? <laughs> Freaking loser. Something like this doesn't just happen on its own. I hid so fast after I threw that. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. So the way that I came in from, to be honest, I don't even quite remember. I think it was uh back this way. It's got to be right. <laughs> Dang it. Tasty. 
See, he has his back turned. Now you're just the problem. Can you can you move? Walls. Please. There we go. Don't turn, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn. My God. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Closing they in. probably run after you in the most terrifying way ever, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Demons. All right, all right. We out, we out, we out. Woo! That's a successful operation right there, players. Facts. Let's go. I ain't gonna lie. Let me let me pick up some more pebbles. Why not, bro? <laughs> we did that. Let's get it. All right. Before Ryuba um, burned the pictures, she grabbed one photograph to keep with her as proof that she was in the asylum. Ryuba returns home, calls her rival, and informs her uh, that the pictures have been destroyed. She also invites the girl over to her house to see the proof. Ryoba's rival uh, arrives to Ryoba's home. When she sees the photograph, she knows that Ryoba is telling the truth. Ryoba lets the girl burn the photo so that she can uh, put this dark chapter of her life behind her. Then Ryoba re offers her rival some tea. Okay, serve normal tea, serve drug tea. <gasps> oh my God. Um, let's, let's do normal tea. Okay, over a cup of tea, Ryoba describes the deep feelings she has uh, for her senpai and explains her and explains how heartbroken she would feel if anyone took the boy away from her. She asked the girl to stay away from her senpai. Ryoba's rival cannot bring herself to complete, compete romantically with someone who entered a life-threatening situation to help her out. She agrees to stay away from Ryoba's senpai. Ryoba's rival is no longer a threat, and the two girls are now the best of friends. I really could have gave her a sedative, bro. That's crazy. Congratulations on defeating your rival. If you would like to advance the story, you can skip ahead using the button displayed at the bottom of the screen, or you can continue attending school to increase your stats, find collectibles, and make friends so that you will have more options in subsequent weeks. Shoot, man. Look, I got to go ahead and get this video out for y'all, but uh, I'm going to play this off camera and then we'll play up to week two and then we'll basically get it going after that. But look, dude, I feel like I'm trying to take the cannon route. Hopefully I didn't already mess up, but I know there's like, if you pay attention, the game hints to you like this, uh, what you're supposed to do. So if y'all have any other advice, just let me know. Uh, what I'm thinking is we'll probably do Yandere Sim like once or twice a week. You know, it just depends how much time I have. But yeah, bro, hopefully y'all enjoyed this vid. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Make sure to take care of yourselves as always, bro. Stay woke, stay positive, and I will to catch y'all next time, man. Peace.